is it Prophet Babs? Prophet Babs, can we stretch our hands in Prophet Babs' direction? I believe even the prophets need encouraging from time to time. Father, we thank you for Prophet Babs. And Lord, we thank you for his life. And Lord, what you're doing through him and in him. And Prophet Babs, I just hear the Spirit of God say, for a season, is it Prophet or Apostle Babs, I apologize. I hate prophet, apostle, it's the same grace. Father, I just thank you for uh, Apostle Babs. And Lord, I thank you for what you're doing in and through him. And I just hear the Spirit of God say, the Lord says, the cave season is coming to a close. And the Lord says, now I am releasing again the man who is called to confront the spirit of Jezebel and so the Lord says you have confronted it in seasons before and you have seen uh, and tried and even attempted the raising up of networks for the apostles and the prophets before and you have wondered why it has felt like sand and not like cement but the Lord says the season has come and just as I declared in my word ask for rain in the time of rain the Lord says this is now the time of rain and the Spirit of God says there are some things that I can trust you with that I can't trust the many with and so the Lord says that where there were years past where I trusted you to raise up the schools of the prophets even before the schools of the prophets was a popular thing the Lord says now I am calling forth meaning and definition and structure to those things that the Lord says people will be trained they'll be raised they'll be sent and they'll be released and the Lord says I am not calling you to build any networks I'm calling you to build nets that work so father right now in the name of Jesus we call forth nets that work we call forth we call forth streams of relationships and I hear the Lord say that you were responsible for being a man of the history of the land and there were years where you invested in knowing what was the history of revival here. What was the history of great men and women of God here previously. And the Spirit of God says your library is littered with books uh, about Pa Elton and the previous fathers. And the Lord says you so wanted to know where did we get stuck. And the Lord says I showed you something about uh, university and college moves that birth uh, Christian unions or some kind of unions and the Lord says that there is a generation that has arisen that is now hardwired for your message and so the Lord says instead of a rod I'm giving you a net and instead of a net I'm giving you a fishing hook and the Lord says now you are going to begin to draw by reason of your gathering anointing true sons and daughters and the Lord says this will be the time where I say arise and confront you're a man that is so you know high level called anointings giftedness history proven but let me say this I saw uh, a father in the Lord laying hands on you and I saw you have so honored that over the years and that you it has been like he passed his mantle you know and you've just been living in that place where is the Lord God uh, uh, of Elijah can I just say this that mantle is not the mantle for a new season and God says do you want a man's mantle or you want my mantle says the Lord and I'm up here so I can see him nodding his head yes father right now in the name of Jesus we believe that in all of our journey, we, we honor, we try on other giftedness, we work with what bit of knowledge we have to partner with you. But Father, where this has put a limited ceiling and even an area, Father, uh, forgive me if I have better words, I choose them a false identity upon this man in the name of Jesus. Father, we release the builder, Jesus Christ, upon him. The builder, Jesus Christ, upon him. The pioneer that is not going to go back and regroup, revision, revisit, but is going to go forward, forward, forward in the name of Jesus. One that is not just going to say, I'm opening up yesterday's wells, but the one that will go and, the, and that will uh, call forth the heavens to let down their rain, says the Lord. Father, right now, I call that forth and I say, any limitation that this man has known, I break you off of him right now and we call forth an acceleration 
in the mighty name of Jesus. I just want to say one final thing. Um, when Dr. Sharon was sharing about the, um, the fathers and the spiritual father and the mantle, I just heard the, heard the Lord say the words he said to Joshua, Moses, my servant, is dead. And, and it's like a season of fathers have gone. And the Lord says, the way you are going, you have not been this way before. And I see like um, groups, like WhatsApp groups, and I see people being given assignments and little training assignments. But I hear the Lord say, I am upgrading your weapons and I'm upgrading what you fight with because the Lord says there is a new media that I want what you carry to ride upon. And the Lord says, by the time we're finished, the prophets will be out of the caves. In Jesus' name. And I really felt like there was also a, um, again, forgive me, tonight I, I usually, uh, I've got a little more sense and I'm a little nicer with my words. Father, right now, we cut off what he thought was an escape route to the United States in the name of Jesus. We cut it off. It's not of you. It's not going to happen. It's not where he's going to flourish. It's not his greatest influence. And we say, God, we will not let his purposes be divided. Amen.